Aviation will take up its position to provide jobs and promote travel and trade again in Nigeria if the federal government makes the operating environment attractive and conducive to foreign airlines. President Association of Foreign Airlines representatives in Nigeria, Kingsley Ngokoma, um, said this as the country prepares to reopen its airspace for international flight operations. Lilian Ezemark has the report. The stretch of road leading to Marutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, still not as busy as it used to. But on getting to the departures, it came alive with the evacuation of some Chinese nationals. We also noticed some developments in keeping with the federal government's order to start preparations for the reopening of the airspace for international flight operations. As Nigeria prepares to throw its airspace open and reunite with the rest of the world, Marutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, is being prepared to embrace the new normal. It's only when work is done that full flight and airport operations will start. Other developments inside the terminal include floor markings for social distancing, shields at airline counters to forestall the air staff having close contacts with passengers, all in line with COVID-19 protocols. International Air Transport Association estimates that global airlines' losses have risen to $314 billion owing to the severity of the economic downturn due to coronavirus pandemic. The body also says that Nigeria has lost $570 million, 100,000 jobs, 3.7 million passengers and more. For the President Association of Foreign Airlines representatives in Nigeria, the losses occur because the industry operates as a chain. We have so many other sub-sectors under this industry. The ground handling sector is there, so if the aircraft don't come, they are not going to handle the, 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 the aircraft. Let's also take a look at the flight catering sector. That's another big industry. For aviation in the country to get back on his feet, he calls for government intervention for the carriers as advocated by Airports Council International, International Civil Aviation Organization and International Air Transport Association. He also wants the ease of doing business to be replicated in the country. They need that help. Even for little things like landing fee, you know, parking fees, you know, and a lot of uh, charges. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought air travel to a standstill, with many airline fleets grounded and no visibility on when global travel restrictions will be eased. International Air Transport Association is calling for a three-stage plan to bring the industry back alive boost passenger confidence in flying, restore confidence of governments, and regain approvals from health authorities. Lillian Ezemark, TVC News, Lagos.